It's been a very, very long time coming. I've been talking about doing this for years and I'm finally gonna do it. Uh, none of that fancy editing, fancy cap cut stuff that I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm not that type of YouTube. I'm gonna just tell y'all a story and we're gonna be chilling. Now today I'm gonna tell y'all a story about my sister tried to, you know, she didn't try to teach me how to drive, but she, she was like, look, or look, look, look. I, I've never been behind the wheel before. Never in my life. And I always thought driving a car is like how you drive a car in video games, such as GTA. I thought one pedal was to go forward and the other one was to go backwards. I didn't know what you had to do with all this other gadget, gadget shit to, 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 to drive it, to, 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 to start a car, you had to do a lot. You had to do a whole lot to start a car. But listen, look, so I'm like, I'm 17 at this time, I'm 17. And uh, my sister was like, hey, you wanna, uh, you wanna move the car up a little bit? I was like, sure. Like, like I'm geeked. I'm like, oh shoot. My first time about to kind of drive, like it's not officially driving, but get behind the wheel. Shit, let's go. So boom, we get in the car, but but look, it, it's get, it gets a little more fucked up than this. Cause it, it wasn't just us that got in the car. It was me, my sister, and then my my cousin, and at the time my sister's daughter, but she was a baby at this time. Like she was, she wasn't one years old yet. So I'm like, oh shit, I got a crowd and a baby. So we get in the car. She first say, all right, start the car up. I, yeah, yeah, turn the car on. Then she say, all right, give us some gas. Now here's where it fucks up. Here, here. Here's where I knew that um, this was not going to be a pleasant day. She said, all right, give us some gas. I said, oh, where your gas thing at? She said, huh? I said, where's your where's your gas can at? Is it in the trunk? You want me to, I can get out and pump the gas when you need to. I didn't know you were running on gas. It kind of said you, you're a fool. It kind of says you're a fool. I don't know why you want me to give you some gas. This is where she knew that she fucked up when asking me to do this. She went, oh, my God. Yeah, so so I, I I knew it was fucked during during well, I knew I knew it was messed up when that happened. So she was like, "No, give it some gas," and I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'll give it some gas." Like, yeah, I gotta wait to get out the car because it's a car coming by. But is your gas tank inside in, in the trunk? Like, I'll pump the gas for you. It took her forty five minutes to explain to me what the fuck she meant. So I'm like, "All right, cool." Press on a little bit. And then she say, do this, do that, do this, do that, do that, do that. I didn't know you had to move this thingy, turn this thingy, do this thingy, do that, 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 that. Like, bro, hell no, no. Why is it so much to start a fucking car? Anyways, so now I'm like, okay, what's next? And then that's when she gets the stall and she's like, oh shit, I'm scared now. I don't want you to, I don't want you to press anything now. I'm, we just sitting there, all laughing, nervous, like, oh my God, this was the scariest moment of my life. So she like, okay, now with your big toe, just press on the pedal just a little bit. I take my foot and I don't, I don't put nothing, I don't put no weight on it. And it's said, I'm like, oh shit. And then I started getting a shaky foot. And I was like, ah, I don't know. Should I get out of the car? And she was like, no, no, you can't move now. You can't move now. I'm like, what What do you mean? What is, what is going on? Why am I taking this test? Like, bro, I felt like it was a test in school. So after a good 20 more minutes of us just laughing, being nervous, she say, okay, uh, just press on it. And then I'll guide you from there. The biggest mistake you could ever tell me in that moment. I said, all right, I pressed down on that bitch. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. I pressed down on it. And it said, Vroom. now look, remember, it ain't just us in the car. It's, uh, it's me, my sister, my cousin, and my sister's 
daughter, my sister's baby. At the time, she was a baby. Not one years old yet. Here's what's fucked up. The stop sign saved us all. The stop sign saved the neighbor's car in front. The stop sign saved our lives. We up on the stop sign like these. We like these with the whole car like this. Just like this. I'm not even joking. We like this. Hop up on the fucking stop sign in the front of the house. Now, she's trying to be mad at me, but she is weirdly laughing, but trying to... But, but, but she's also trying to be mad at me. She, she like, Trey, you fucking stupid. <laughs> you fucking dumb. You, you an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, my bad, my bad, bro. We are, we are up on the shit like this. And she had to, how, you you know when you flip the car over on GTA and, and it's like on the side, you got to get out. Hurry and get out before the fucking fire came out. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, Lord, I probably just killed us. And everybody in the neighborhood, this fucking car is about to blow up. But she hopped out the uh, she hopped out of uh, the passenger seat. Like we had to hop out, come through, and like kind of like we had to slither and maneuver my way out of the damn car. She got in, got it out, nice and safely. No, weirdly, nothing got fucked up. The, no scratch, no no big crash. It was just that like when I had pushed it, I got scared because it went. And I accidentally, I accidentally turned it a little bit. Thank God I turned it. And the tire like just rolled up on the fucking thing. And it was kind of, the, the pole, this is the pole and this is the tire. It was like, it was just like that. And that's why we was on our side. But she backed out so smooth. And then she parked the car. Ever since then, I have vowed, I am 23 years old. I have vowed to myself, I ain't never get my hand on the wheel again. I don't give, I, I don't care if John Cena himself was like, hey, DW, I'll teach you how to drive. No, fuck you won't. No, you won't. I'm not giving a hand that goddamn wheel ever again. Never. I have PTSD and anxiety. But yeah. I just wanted to tell y'all about that. Now, I'm kind of trying to transition into doing more stuff other than just releasing music and releasing TikTok videos. I think I want to start doing story times too, but I'm going a, I'm to a just leave it up to y'all and see if, I'm going to see how y'all rocking with the story times. But yeah, that was my first time driving. It never happened again, but I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, I'm going to see how this does. And if it does good a little bit, like to my, if it does good, and I'll do another story time. But until then, I'll see y'all later. I gotta come up with a fucking intro. I gotta come up with an outro. I got y'all, my real subscribers of Hollywood. I ain't forget that. DWG, we on top. Pause.